This right here is the Blue Ox BXR 2100 gooseneck mounted fifth wheel. Between the base utilizing the gooseneck ball and the head being able to come apart, that's pretty cool. It being really lightweight is really clutch if you're just struggling getting it in and out or just wanna work a little smarter, not harder. I think it's gonna be a pretty good option for you, especially with the top. It's just gonna prevent those false hookups and those trailer drops. Unlike some of the other fifth wheel kits on our site that uses the hole that your gooseneck ball goes in, this one utilizes the ball to do that. So with the ball in our bed, we drop this down. The ball is right here and it's gonna be compatible with a two and five sixteenths inch ball only. So make sure you have that. And this is gonna give us about a four inch offset backwards, meaning our trailer is now connected here instead of up here which really helps we were able to haul our whole entire fifth wheel trailer with a toolbox. It's gonna to give us a gross trailer capacity of 21,000 pounds and a vertical load limit of 5,000 pounds. If you're looking for a lightweight option that still has a decent amount of capacity, it's only about 122 pounds, but it's a two piece unit. So you can take it out in two different pieces. So it's gonna be a little bit easier on your back and just make it easier to be able to move, maneuver around by yourself. On the top, we have a funnel shaped hitch head. So this isn't going to require us to be perfectly lined up. It'll give us a little bit of wiggle room. So if we're a little bit off, it'll just slide in that way. It worked pretty well when we were using it earlier. And also we have an articulating head, which is gonna give us a little bit of play back and forth just to also help with that connection. And this is a true 360 de degree connection. So a lot of the other fifth wheels, you just have this part around here and you slide into it and then the latches lock the rest of it. This is one big unit completely covered in 360 degrees around your kingpin. We're about to load up. All you need to do is pull this little pin right here. It's connected so you don't have to keep track of it. And then you just pull it out and rotate it a little bit. Now we're ready to back up, line it up, and drop her down. The kit includes a loop plate right here, and that's gonna go on your kingpin before we hook up. It doesn't stay on there too well, but wiggle it around a little bit. She'll stay on there when we drop it down. So now we're lowering down. Notice how we have a little cone shape. This is gonna help us get it in the right spot if it's not perfectly lined up, but Jake lined it up pretty much perfect. So we didn't really need that, but it is nice just in case you wanna load up really quick. So now what we wanna do, now that most of that weight is on the truck, we can rotate this back. And then once that's done, all we have to do is just take our pin and put it in this hole right here just to lock that arm into place. You can easily pull the lever from the side of the truck. I'm just here just because I need to be in the shop. So what we need to do here is just take our pin that we put in here first, pull that out, let it go. Then we're gonna pull this out and rotate it just like before. Now we're ready to lift this thing up. And with the head kind of being able to rotate back and forth or tilt back and forth and side to side, it really does help release the pressure whenever you're unloading. The lube plate did its job. So you can see down here, we don't have hardly any scratches or any lubricant on this piece. So it's gonna stay nice and clean. To start the install, we're gonna take these clips off of the two pins down at the bottom. So if you come a little bit closer, you'll see we're gonna have two little pins here. Just push those through 
and grab them. This is what's going to secure around our ball. So once we do that, you can look at your fifth wheel hookup. We're gonna have two stickers that have a cab on there. It says cab and it has a arrow facing forward. We want that to face towards our cab. And then this little dot right here, this little bolt, is where it's going to go directly on top of our gooseneck ball. So once all that's done, you can sit there and put it into place where it's over top. Just like that. I went ahead and put those two pins that were removed back where they were. So now it's underneath the ball and we can take these pins and put them back. Grab your torque wrench with a 15 16 inch socket on the top and we need to torque down this top bolt right here to the torque specifications in our instructions. What this is doing is as we tighten it, the pins underneath that ball, it's gonna be pulling up on it to really make a solid connection. Next, we're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket, but they want a 12 point socket. So the one right here, the silver one, has a bunch of points on the inside. That's the one we wanna use, not your standard socket like this. The reason why we want the 12 point socket is because look at our bolt head here. It's just a square. We don't wanna strip that out or anything. So we'll torque this down with our torque wrench to the specs in our instruction. All right. Now we want a 15 16 inch deep well socket to tighten up the jam nut to the specifications in our instructions. Now we're ready to put the head assembly on there. Notice we have three different holes right here. They're spaced an inch apart. That's something you may just wanna mess with on the first initial setup for your rig. Since this truck is pretty big, I think what we're gonna do is go all the way down, but we're gonna give you some measurements to see exactly what we can really achieve here in each hole. So we're gonna start with the very, very top right here, and we'll take a measurement. In its tallest position from the bed of your truck to the start of our head is gonna be 19 inches. In the middle hole, that same measurement is gonna be 18 inches. And down in our lowest position, which is what we're gonna use today, that same measurement is gonna be 17 inches. Once we put that pin where we want it, we can take our little clip on the other side and fasten this down. This right here is gonna be our little anti-rattle device to keep this from really shaking around. What we're gonna need is 11 16 on one side like this. And then we're gonna need a 5 8 wrench on the back to torque it down to spec. And once it's done, we have another jam nut that we wanna tighten down as well. And that's gonna take all the play out so it's a nice solid unit. If you're looking to hook up to your pin box on your fifth wheel and you have a gooseneck already installed in your truck, the Blue Ox BXR2100 is gonna be able to use that gooseneck connection so you can hook up to those other fifth wheels. And I really do think it's gonna be a pretty good option for you.